to carry Kartai, and welcome to Fatal Frame 4 Mask of the. something or other. <laughs> Suki no Kamen, whatever. <laughs> Not very familiar with its English name. Uh, so, yeah, this is actually my very first playthrough of this game. I have the. I managed to get this thing working on my Wii U, thankfully. Which is awesome. Yeah, the English translation patch and everything. Got it working on my Wii U. It wasn't that. It was just as simple as installing Homebrew on Virtual Wii, which wasn't really all that much different. Anyways, I'm happy about that, because now I can actually use my Elgato for recording it. I really wanted to avoid using Dolphin or anything. Besides, I have the physical copy of the disc, I really wanted to use that. I managed to find that at Anime Central last time I was there. It's awesome. Alright, let's get into this. I know next to nothing about this game too, so aside from the really terrible glitches and why it was never released over here. But I think that was fixed in the English patch, so cool. Madoka. なんか思い出せた。うん。随分前のことだし。私たち5人が映っていたのは確かにこの建物ね。うん。ねえ、美咲、本当にここに来ればよかったのかな。写真の場所でも何も思い出せなかったし。もう一回私の言う通りにして
No, my Wiimote decided to die. It got too spooked and just died. In actuality, it was because I cleaned it. Because it was caked in dust. And it broke completely. So there's that. Shit sucks. Thankfully, I have a second one. Which was also caked in dust, but I didn't... But I just... Didn't. I didn't actually wash it or anything, so that was probably what happened. Oh. He's okay. That's probably where I'm supposed to go. Alright, basic operation. Press C button to run. Alright, figured that out. Turn around. You can use the nunchuck to turn around. Shake the uh, Wiimote to do a 180 degree turn. Cool. The masks almost seem alive. This is a tutorial area, there's not going to be much I can actually open or anything. Saki's flashlight. I'm gonna turn up the volume again because I turned it down because it seemed loud and now I can barely hear it now. Too low. Use the remote to control it. Control the flashlight by moving the remote in any direction, any direction. Determines where your flashlight will shine. Yeah, okay. Misaki isn't here. Misaki. Misaki? Misaki? Next to the Kunihiko Aso Museum. They're not it. There hangs a guide board. Please direct inquiries to the second floor management office. Okay. Still look around a little bit. Figured. Yeah, Kunihiko Aso. Okay. It's the guy who made the camera obscure and all that other stuff. Madoka doesn't move very fast, does she? Oh, those were some nice frames there. directly behind you so you can't think it's really silly so this doesn't have the fixed camera angles that the other games had. Okay, second floor, so we're on the second floor, so somewhere around here. Like I said, most of the doors are probably gonna be locked. I probably won't be doing anything that can help here.
spooky, perhaps. Unless the frames dropped anyways. here examine there are many different objects you can examine while in a room these objects will react and turn blue when your flashlight illuminates them okay like on the other games pretty much. When the object reacts to your flashlight, you can examine it by reaching out your hand. The A button is displayed when you approach an item. To reach out for an object, press and hold the A button. This will allow you to pick it up and keep the object. If you release the A button, you will retract your hand stop examining it. It's because ghost hands grab you. They did the same thing at Fail Frame 5 during the three or four levels I did of that one. So I'll be playing that one, most of that one for the first time as well when we get to that one. I think it's a random chance to. I think it's written on the paper. I have a spare uh, museum key on my desk for you. Please, ta please take care to lock the doors when you close for the night, as there are valuable exhibits on display. We can our old charts, records, files, containers, and chemicals. Oh, there's a spooky ghost nearby, because I can see the filament react. Museum. I saw the room I saw beside the enter. You can, enter. You can uh, open the menu by pressing the minus button on the Wii mode. On the menu screen, you can view the map, use items, review notes, and other files that you have found. You can open the map directly by pressing the plus button. Good, I was about to ask that. So, what's the C button? Well, the C button's probably for camera stuff. And that Z button, um, C button. I haven't used the Wii mode in ages, so I don't remember very much of it. Was I ever? I don't think I've actually played a single Wii game. I don't think I've played a single Wii game yet. So I haven't played anything that involves the Wii mode, and since now I can actually play games on my Wii U like this. I mean, with with it homebrewed, I could. <laughs>
先を探さないと。Okay, anyways. Uh, yeah, with the homebrew, I can play GameCube games on this thing now. Now I can. Which would have been great when I was doing Blood Omen 2, because that thing gave me a t r o u b l e s just trying to get it to run properly. And why,、well, if I could、uh, run PS2 games off of this thing. <laughs> yeah, point if I can get PS2 games to buy or something for my Elgato without having to buy them on the PSN store. <laughs> so many PS2 games I can play. It's better than ripping the ice I wasn't playing and I'm on PCSX and hoping that it actually works and finding the settings that work, etc. Finding initial d e v i l Saga 2 so much easier with being able to use a frame skip button. This is speed. How fast I cast reincarnation over and over again. That's different. Anyways, <laughs> probably focusing on my spooky game. Wait, it was this, it was this arm, right? Holding the button just makes you run forward, you don't even need to push forward. So we gotta at least a few of what the guy looks like. Oh, duh, this, of course the C button will bring up the camera, that makes sense. The button that, oh, B. I'll figure it out sooner or later. The grass and the collect humidity has been looks so much better. So I was writing on the old notebook. There are shadows that can only be seen by mediums. The thoughts of the dead linger in certain locations. In order to reveal the traits that lead to the spirit world, after many prototypes, the camera obscura was、uh, developed. However, it appears it need to need further improvement. As a result of my investigations to the mask of Rogetsu Island, I have made use of materials and resources here to make a film plate. It's very likely it will prove useful in my research into the camera obscura. I'm now convinced that. A power exists that exceeds my expectations and is related to the strong effect of photographing the shadows it has on them. A medium would probably say this comes close to exorcism. My personal experiences on this island have significantly influenced my arrival to, at, at this bold belief. I, asked to, to donate, I was asked to donate a single c a r a m s c u r a to the main collection. I do not think this island will need the power of the c a r a m s c u r a I hope it is unnecessary. It is. It's on camera. Is this the camera's cure the note was talking about?
images of unseen things which are concealed inside. When a vengeful spirit appears, you can trap it inside the camera scare by photographing it. Touching the B button, you can ready the camera to scare. When the camera is ready to in the state, press the A to Lock on. When the camera is ready, if you continue to hold the Z button when the ghost is in the center of the screen, you can lock on. Okay. So you can effectively both can be a pass. Controls in this game are definitely different. You don't even use the you don't even use the freaking Wiimote to move that thing around. You use the how do you move? So can you not move when you put the camera up in this game? Huh? That's odd. Usually you can move and use the camera with well with two joysticks. I mean, so you don't use the Wiimote for anything in this game? Whatever. Spanish, then just who was that? <laughs> Sitting here, there are books in the display case. Looks like I have strange tiles, but I can't seem to focus on them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can. I can use the Wii mode. I can't use it left or right. I can only use it up and down. Yeah, it's refusing to go left and right for some reason. I don't understand. I have to use the. Oh. What? Oh. So you can only do left and right on the joystick. And you can only do up and down on the Wii. That's weird. That's really weird. It's gonna take a bit of getting used to on the controls. 